There are two mental math tricks in this lesson. One, know your compatible numbers. Those are numbers that make 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. We're going to focus on numbers that make 10 in this lesson and find an easy order. You're going to find this is so cool if you can figure this out. Uh, makes math so creative and fun. So we know the first review, we'll do a re little review of the basic compatible numbers. 9 plus 1. That's 10. 10 is easy. Once we get 10, our lives are easy. 8 plus 2 is 10. 7 plus 3, you got it, 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. And 5 plus 5 is 10. And those are all the compatibles, basically. Um, you could say, what about 4 plus 6? Well, that's the same thing reversed. But don't forget, we can go any order. We can flip these around. So 7 plus 3, 3 plus 7. 8 plus 2, 2 plus 8. Those are your basic compatible numbers. Now watch how we use them. All right, here's a great example of how you can use compatible numbers. Imagine you had to add all these up. Eeks! And you're going to go, ah, oh, 2 plus 5, that's 7. 7 and 5 is 8. 8. Oh, oh wait a minute. 7, 8, 15. Oh, so slow. Check this out. If you start, take a step back and look at the whole thing. Start looking for compatibles. You might see, oh, there's six and four. Those are compatible. Bam, that's a 10. Nine and one, that's compatible. Bam, that's a 10. Hey, eight and two, that's compatible. 10. So we've gotten rid of all these 10, 20, 30, and there's just five left. So the answer would be 35. You can go super fast with these compatible numbers. All right, here's another one. If you go this way, uh, 7 and 9, 16. Uh, but if you take a step back, let's look for some compatibles. Hey, wait a minute. There's 7 and 3. That makes 10. And the other 6 and 4. That makes 10. That leaves, oh, wait a minute. Now it's a little tricky. I like to watch this. Now we could steal one from here. Let's make this a five. Steal that one and give it to this. That gives us a ten. See that? That's I like to call that stealing from the rich, giving to the poor. But in this case, we're stealing from the poorer one, giving it to the rich one. Um, so there's five. Uh, where are we now? Oh, look at this. We could actually steal two out of there. Turn this into the ten. That leaves three. So the answer for this one, 10, 20, 30, 43. That one's a little harder, but kind of fun to do. Kind of Notice how the creativity you can do when uh, you can use subtraction to give you uh, new numbers that can make compatible numbers. So uh, it, it's a very creative way of doing things. All right, I'll give you a minute with this one. If you can look and just see, do you see any compatibles? Do you have an answer? Not yet? Okay, let's do it together, baby. 8, I see an 8 and a 2, that gives us 10. 9 and a 1, that gives us 10. 6 and a 4, 10. Is there anything left? Oh, this is why I like it. Look out. You can turn hard math into easy math. 10, 20, 30. And then there's just 3 right there. So the answer is... 33. I hope you like this little lesson on compatibles. Maybe in the next lesson I'll show you some a little harder, but still a lot of fun. You can, it's harder for people that don't use compatibles, but when you use compatibles, really fun and easy in the next lesson.